Thank you so much, Teacher Erickson, for that insightful discussion on social emotional learning and language development in the early childhood years. For our last episode, development or of physical or motor skills, and then now, no social emotional and language development, we see a pattern. The things that we do every day at home, yung mga simple conversations, simple utos, for example, our daily interactions with our children. These are all learning opportunities that we can capitalize on. Now, now that we know how to support our kids in their growth and development. Ano yung mga watch outs and must see when we know about these things, we become more intentional in our interactions with our children. And often we tend to think na kapag language, ah, pagsasalita lang yan. Pero uh, the more, uh, meron pa palang ibang mga developmental milestones or perspective ang language development. Social emotional development is just not about reacting or expressing our emotions, no, but also understanding the context of emotions and interactions. Bakit ba tayo nagagalit? Bakit ba tayo nalulungkot? No, nagagalit, natutuwa. Bakit ba minsan may mixed emotions tayo? Mahalaga na nauunawaan natin kung bakit tayo nagre-react. So, pag pinag-usapan natin yung social emotional ito ay pagkakaroon din ng reception no these are some of the most important things i picked up from teacher erickson's discussion now let us find out naman what our guest parents for today picked up from our keynote speaker and speaking of our keynote speaker may we call teacher erickson teacher erickson nandiyan ka na ba are you there Hello, Teacher Etchel. Magandang araw. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Oo, kamusta ka naman, Teacher Erickson? Busy-busy tayo ngayong mga panahon na ito, no? At Ako malapit na mag-summer. <laughs> Totoo, busy-busy, pero oh. katulad ng sabi natin, importante natin itong pinag-uusapan. Correct. Para sa mga magulang, para sa mga caregivers, and even uh, to other family members. Oo, ulitin ko lang si Teacher Erickson yung masters niya, uh, ano yan, tung- yung kanyang uh, TC sa kanyang master ay tungkol sa social-emotional development of children. So tamang-tama na siya yung naging bisita natin. Talaga yung Rex Education parating ano, no, pinaghahandaan at special yung uh, uh, mga bisita natin dito. Siyempre, kapareho ng dati natin mga episodes, we are, no, uh, we will be joined again by a mom and a dad uh, to help share their insights for our topic. So, first, we have a mom of three, a parenting advocate, a mompreneur, no? Interpreneur din siya. Marag- magaling magnegosyo. A teacher like me and Teacher Erickson, a community builder and the founder and CEO of Mami Mundo. Let us all welcome Mami Janice Villanueva. Hi, Mami Janice. Kamusta ka na? Hello, Teacher Chell, and hello, Teacher Erickson. I'm so honored to be here in your company. Um, I really admire and believe in what you're doing with Rex. Uh, it's very needed now, and I'm I'm really honored to be here and be able to share my experiences also with you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Um, Janice, ano ba yung Mami Mundo? Can you share just a little bit about Mami Mundo? Oh, thank you for asking. Oh, Mami Mundo is um, I like to see the go-to resource and community for moms in the Philippines. Uh, I started it. Uh, it's been 20 years, um, Teacher Echel. So my son, he's 25, my eldest. So when I was a young mom, uh, I noticed that um, moms needed support like me. So I started doing small talks and events. So wala pang internet po nun. <laughs> So, yeah. And um, it grew and grew. So from then, it became uh, a supportive community for mothers. And we have talks like this. So we know the importance of always learning, right? Uh, especially with, for example, Teacher Erickson, you're taking your, are you taking your master's now or whatever yeah. you're sharing? Yeah. yeah, it's so different from when my sons were small and my daughter was young. So even me with my kids, even if they're grown, I keep learning and trying to make the most of what we can teach and impart our kids. So thank you for what you're doing also. Mami Janice, magkasintan tayo mga anak natin. My children oh, are 25 and 26. 
So we have yeah. a similar advocacy also kasi really no when you are a new mom parang di ka masyadong mm. confident so you need other moms apart from your mom or your mother-in-law yes. diba? kasi kailangan... ibang iba na ngayon diba ibang iba yes. na ngayon yung mga principal so it's really fascinating and if we can impart that to our fellow moms and also practice it it's such a gift also yeah thank you very much for your mm-hmm. initiatives and you know advocacy also Mami Janice syempre lagi nating sinasabi yan from the very beginning of this series na kailangan yung mga tatay involved hindi lang nanay diba? so that's why we always make it a point to invite a daddy kasi alam nyo hindi naman madali magiging parent diba? kaya natutuwa ako pag may mga tatay eh. kaya sinasabi ko yan parate I'm so proud of my husband because he was when, when when my children hanggang ngayon naman ano he's he's, he's he's he is a hands-on dad kahit ngayon na malalaki na sila and of course I would like to introduce to you our dad guest for today well sinasabi nila he's the only male in the family no he is with his wife Nix and daughters Riley and Micah our guest dad for the day is a marketing manager by day ha tinan nyo ha may career din yung tatay na to by the by day and a writer and a blogger in between wow daming extracurricular activities no he loves spending time with the family and is interested in unique experiences wow ano kaya yung mga unique experiences ni daddy ngayon ano sounds very exciting Creativity is his passion. Or the following segment, meron tayong segment on creativity, ha? Pero ngayon pa lang, sinasabi na ni uh, da- Daddy Mike, no? I-introduce ko na si Daddy Mike, na importante yung pagiging creative, no? Because his, uh, because creativity is his passion. He always searches for artistry in all forms. It is all welcome to join us in today's discussion. Daddy Mike soon. Daddy Mike, kamusta ka oh. na for you? Okay naman, okay naman. Um, it's nice to be in the company of, uh, of of you guys as well. So, very, very interesting topics yung na, na mention nga kanina. So, yeah. well, syempre, I have my own experiences, pero, yan, di naman perfect din ang mga dads. Pero, syempre, uh, it's nice to absorb and also learn from you guys. It's not too late. Now for for me, I have a seven-year-old and also a two-year-old. Wow! So um, it's nice that um, Rex is able to have this platform to involve uh, dads, because um, unlike a uh, uh, member, did pala ako ng community ng mommy member. So Yo, yung yeah. wife, correct. So it's, it's <laughs> nice to ano uh, to um, to have that community for moms. Pero not just moms naman siya. Nagita ko may mga contents for uh, for dads as well. So I think um, there there needs to be a Uh, a group as well or to study sa mami mundo to, to discuss and be open diba, sa mga ganitong class na oh tsaka yung parenting di naman limited yan sa nanay lang lawa dad should yeah. always be involved I agree na malaking bagay na involve yung parents no? uh, the dads yes. also the presence no? kahit ano pa yan no? I agree Oh, so it's sa your early childhood eh. Kami ni Mami Janice pareho kami halos ng <laughs> mga mga bata. At saka kami nga oh. empty nesting na kami ng husband ko. No? Our children are working. So they have their own careers also. And I think no Mami Janice it's really very important that mothers have their own careers too. They have their own oh, lives. Lang mas concentrate sa mga bata. <laughs> That's It's true. Can do many things. Wife like, ko is yeah. working as well, so yeah. dalawa kami nag work. So yung 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 dynamics is really quite tough. Um, transitioning from online, tapos kyan may may face to face ng kids. So para it's may two year old pa so hira. May very yeah. challenging pero very rewarding. Yes, and I'm glad that you're very involved also, Daddy Mike. Ano? So, um, let's bo- ano, no? let's start na. Let's start the conversation yeah. with you, with Daddy Mike and the Daddy Janice. I'm sure that our audience will learn so many things from you. So, yung first question ko, ito. Sas- marami akong tanong eh, tungkol dun sa keynote speech ni Teacher Erickson. So, Mami Janice and Daddy Mike, before we start the discussion, I want to know no, what you know about early childhood education what have you encountered or have you encountered the term before no and uh, are you doing mindful mindful practices that align with a healthy early education environment at home sino yung gustong sumagot si Mami Janice ba o si Daddy Mike yeah, i can start um si yeah, re- <laughs> oh thank you um Dr. Chell so uh, definitely um Daddy Mike 
shared parenting talaga is the way to go. So I'm so happy to meet you finally also. Thank you. Um, to your question, Dr. Echel, um, early childhood education, that's been something that I've really uh, found importance in, yung starting young and like really making most of the, the time that the kids uh, develop their brains and um, develop their social and econo- um, emotional skills. Um, their EQ, as they say, IQ and EQ. Um, the ba po, there's a window lang that we can really um, make the most. And like they say that they, they're sponges at that moment. Um, and then we have to really give them a nurturing environment and safe environment. Um, so that's why it's important to put them in a, in a good preschool or give them a good learning environment at home. Um, but with what um, Teacher Erickson shared, um, being intentional and mindful is really key nowadays, especially with technology. Um, incidentally, po, I, I am a mindfulness teacher. So mm-hmm. I got certified in mindfulness um, during the pandemic because we've been teaching mindfulness informally in Mommy Mundo. Because nga po, with technology now, we are so stimulated with in so many ways and there's an over um, supply of information. And for us, kung tayo lang yun, what more are children? Um, so, giving them an environment at home, um, like what Teacher Erickson said, what I really loved about his presentation was the intentional um, engagement with our kids. Like really, you know, sitting them down or when they're asking you questions, kahit na busy tayo minsan, di ba yung parang, mommy, 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 parang tayo, ano ba? Parang anak, uh, may ginagawa ako. Pero, just breathing, so breathing in and then taking a pause and then giving them those few moments to look in their eyes, find out what they need, and then allowing them to feel seen and heard through our words, right? And then mirroring what they feel or just saying, oh, anak, are you hungry? Or maybe you're a bit tired or um, I know you're a bit scared about this. Makes such a big difference. So, um even if malaki na yung anak natin, Dr. Ichel, yeah. um, it's something that I still try to practice. But with our young mothers and dads who are listening or who have heard Teacher Erickson's presentation, I think that's something really um, important to pick up on. Okay, Daddy Mike. Wow, ang ganda ng mga sinabi yeah. mo, Daddy ja- ah, Mami Janice. No? Minsan mm. busy, hindi nga minsan eh. Araw-araw busy tayo. <laughs> Yeah. Walang araw na hindi busy, di ba? At saka pagod na nga tayo, kulang pa sa tulog, tapos busy, tapos we're worried pa about the future and health and everything. Yeah. Tapos sure. yung anak natin wants lang our attention and moments. So it's hard, pero yeah. breathe and then pause and then just a few moments lang is really sometimes all they need. Yeah. yeah. Sige, Daddy Mike, ikaw <laughs> naman. I'm sure. Siyempre, iba rin yung challenges. Meron kang seven, saka meron kang two. Uh, Ano yung, yeah. what have you encountered in terms of, you know, early childhood? What are your mindful practices? Well, yung, yung akala mo, you're done with the two, three, four years old. That was, here's the two-year-old. You know? So yeah. it's very, very, you know, very, at first, yung firstborn ko medyo challenging. I don't know how to adjust. I came in with no idea. Wala naman akong parang maternal instinct. Pero it's, it's as a father, parang syempre, you're excited, pero how do I take care of this person na who doesn't react to the feelings that I give, di ba? Pero syempre, yung nasabi nga teacher eh, ni Janice kanina is it's it's nice to take a pause and uh, acknowledge, especially yung, yung older ko na, five-year-old or six-year-old siya. You just have to take a minute tapos you, you respond to whatever it is that they tell you. Kasi I, I notice a difference sa mga first three years year old nung, nung first born daughter ko. So, syempre ako parang busy ako ganyan, and everything. So, as may may moment na parang narealize ko parang I don't think this is the right way to do it. So, it's nice to acknowledge na parang na ba, na you, you, there's still room for improvement as a parent. So, that's what I did. So, nag, I work on it for six months or one year. So every day I try to be more patient and uh, be more entertaining. So I'm the, I'm the favorite and person in the house. Kasi parang, although girls, I don't my boy because he, he wants to play with me. He wants to do unboxing or video reviews and do, do this. So it's nice that I'm able to 
earn yung trust niya. And I'm really proud of that. I don't, I don't brag it sa, sa wife ko, pero yun ang nakikita na parang pag dalawa kami mag-asama, sabi niya, Daddy, kasi ako lang yung Tapos sabi ng mama niya, Daddy lang naman yung mahal niya. So, syempre ako, no, you should say hi to your mom as well and ask her. So, in personally, parang, hmm, I worked on this. It's parang may, may fulfillment and improve me as a person as well. Yung being patient and understanding people and listening and taking a pause. Not just for kids, but it's, it's nice na they have that effect on me as an adult. Na pero yes, um, yeah, as yung early stages ng, um, ng kids, it's very crucial and very important that we give the proper attention and what they just to nurture and, 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 and guide them as they grow up. So it's nice na we have a hand on on the way we're, we're raising someone. So it's it's a very challenging, but a very, very fulfilling, very fun job. In the I'm happy to do that with my wife. So give and take them. Yeah, th- thank you very much, no, mommy, ma- uh, mommy, tuloy, daddy, Mike, for <laughs> for for that uh, explanation, yeah. for sharing your experiences with your two children. Pero kasi yung itong buong series na to talaga tungkol sa emotional or not only about emotional and language development, but also the six domains of development. No, kasi yung early childhood uh, care and development counseling, ECCD counsel natin identified six domains of child development or domains of development that we need to uh, focus on as children grow kasi mahalaga yun eh no pero ngayon sa siri sa episode na to we'll be focusing only on uh social emotional and language development pero i want to ask no mommy Janice and um daddy mike ano yung pagkaalam natin o pagkaintindi natin to sa six domains of development bilang yeah, parang i um of course, scientifically, parang, ano ba six domains? But then I realized that it's kind of tied up with what I learned before about multiple intelligence, um, mm. that our kids have different smarts. So body smart, word smart, um, emotional smart, like that. So parang, it's a recognition of the different domains that our child has that we have to be conscious about and develop it in different ways. Because actually it's connected to each other so that's what i know about those six domains and then um i really love this episode and i can't wait to hear the others um kasi iba iba pala yung tools of nurturing each one yeah um and yeah so that's what i know about um six domains like tayo as people we even have a more uh, dominant domain i'm not sure if that's correct teacher exon uh, but for example ako i'm word, i'm parang i like to see i'm a word smart i like talking and sharing uh, what i feel and and also journaling mga ganon yung anak ko naman na lalaki body smart ganyan so i think in a way it's talking about domains as well yeah yeah eh, oo di ba o mamaya magpapa mamaya tat- Tingnan natin. Ask natin. So, <laughs> ano ba talaga yung six domains of development na yan? May, pa, yeah. may pa-price ba ang Rex uh, education? <laughs> so, so, makakatawa. So, sige. Daddy Mike, ikaw na ba? Oo. Ano yung alam mo tungkol doon sa six domains of development? I'm sure yung mga audience natin pwedeng mag-type, no? Doon sa... Or comment mag- down below. Comment. Ano ba yung six domains of development, <laughs> no? O, ayan. Pinsan ako, nagpapa-exam ako parate. Pero hindi naman to exam, Daddy Mike, ha? <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, well, na, I was able to to read that in early stages. Pero it, it stuck with me yung parang, syempre, yung, yung physical, uh, yung sa creative side nila or yung, yung dealing with people and also being able to share on yung nararamdaman. So they can't really explain what, what they're thinking or what they're experiencing. Um, pero yun, I mean, um, making sure na they... Ako, very strict ako sa, sa physical development and also social and emotional just just to make sure na ano they're they're they, they set up right they eat properly yung mga basic lang na ganun kung how I was raised siguro ng mga grandparents ko and mom ko so very ganun ang parang treatment ko na parang palalaking ko to paano si, kung paano ko lumaki before pero syempre it's not the same so yung cognitive niya and yung, yung how how she speaks and how she sits, how she stands, very, I guess, I guess it covers that. So in the di- different um, aspects of um, development and also I try to give her like uh, 
puzzles to solve or just to make sure that she thinks on what to do and how to do it. And then her being able to explain to me kung bakit yan. So, para we, we tie that in. Parang ganun. Parang yun ang vague na understanding ko. But I'm excited to learn more. Oo, tama naman lahat yung mga sagot mo, Daddy Mike. No? <laughs> Pero dun sa first episode natin, I talked about the six domains of development no? under the National Early Learning Framework of the Philippines. So, mga mommies, daddies, mga teachers, caregivers, meron tayong ganyan na. Ito yung pinaprescribe ng ating uh, bansa. No? Yung una yung physical health, well-being, and motor development, social, emotional development, and then language development, which uh, we are talking uh, about about no the, the topics for today and then of course meron tayong character and values development and then you have the creative and aesthetic development so lahat yun mahalaga pareho nang sinabi ni Mami Janis no na lahat yun mahalaga at yun ay nakadirekta doon sa paano ba natin ito i-improve bilang mga te- na, ba, bilang mga teachers ng ating mga uh, anak sa bahay kasi hindi naman limited lang ang pagiging guro sa pareho namin ni Teacher Erickson I I think that all parents are teachers of their children ano so thank you very much for your answers no Mommy Janice and uh, Daddy Mike no pero meron pa rin akong ano at tanong no kasi what was your most valuable learning uh, when you heard Uh, the talk of Teacher Erickson. Ano yung mga takeaways ninyo from Teacher Erickson's keynote speech? Siguro simulan natin kay Daddy Mike. Meron ka bang takeaway uh, na sinasabi ni Teacher Erickson? Ano? Ano ba? Ano ko ba siya na-explain? Well, siguro yung ano, um, yung pag-engage lang sa kanila in, in the different aspects, I guess, dun sa Um, sa physical yung or sa sa creative side nila or in imagination yung so pag, basically just just them being a kid and treat them and parang taking care of them in a way na you play with them tapos you you talk to them and engage with them more in terms of the different aspects now I guess physical or creative or get them to think and figure out the stuff on their own and guide them na pasasari niya parang talagang siyempre hindi maiwasan minsan, pero minsan pagsasabihan, diba? Pero just making sure that they we, we guide them properly and engage with them. Must they be open to you more? And uh, I guess um, playing with them and just spending time with them. Yan ang isa sa mga I think um, is valuable din, din sa kid ko. And that's what she appreciates. And in, in, in between, nag-i-insert lang ako ng mga learning the but but par- parang learning teaching moment as they call it so means and she makes a mistake so just want to make sure na this is a teachable moment for for the kid and it's nice that na i'm sure naman yeah oh oh maganda yun yung sinasabi mo no Ta- yung every moment is a teaching moment no meron tayong yeah. parating matututunan okay mm-hmm. si ma mapi jani saman from the point of view of uh, a mom no ano yung Yeah. most important uh, or valuable learning from Teacher Erickson's uh, yeah. I had a lot of takeaways in Teacher Erickson's talk. My notes nga ako dito. But um, I think one of the, something that really struck me was the importance of um, trying to converse with them. Kahit bata pa sila. Uh, the conversations that we can have with them. Kasi I think sometimes as parents, we, we, f- we think that our children, pag bata, they don't have a mind of their own. Di ba? Parang, mm-hmm. lalo na yung upbringing natin na parang, uy, parent tayo, makikinig sila sa atin dapat. Ganun, ganun. But then, actually, lalo na ngayon, the children, parang they're so advanced. Um, and Teacher mm-hmm. Erickson mm-hmm. mentioned, I think, in his talk na, um, that we need to actually um, help and teach them to have conversations like the exchange of ideas, the exchange of words. Mm. Um, if that can start with us at home, kahit bata pa sila, kahit na kunyari, we're giving, kunyari sa dining table, yung um, anak, what do you want? And then like what Daddy Mike said, na you, you teach them, say please, say thank you. And then when you give it to them, oh, what will you say? Thank you. Diba? I think let's, let's start the conversation and depending on what age and stage they're in, we can like go uh, more and more uh, complicated as the they grow up. 
And as we give them the skills to really have that exchange, but maybe siguro at the start, sharing muna. Tapos mamaya, it's, what did you think of this cartoon that we watched? Tapos konting conversation. Um, yeah. It also, I guess, builds also on their confidence, um, giving them the words to their feelings, maganyan. So I think it's fascinating for me to just learn that from Teacher Erickson and parang validate na, oo nga, no? Our children, kahit gano ka bata, they can actually um, have a conversation with us and even share with us their own ideas and teach us in a sense, right? Our kids are also our teachers. So, yeah, that's my favorite part about Teacher Erickson's mm-hmm. presentation. Yes. Oo, oh, alam mo, Mami Janice, totoo yan. Mm-hmm. Uh, parang totoo yan sinasabi mo na yan na our, our children are also our teachers. So, even if I am a yeah. teacher... Uh, and I specialize on early childhood. My my children continue it to illuminate my own learning as a parent yes. and as an academic. So talagang yeah. ilang yung mga bata ang natututo sa atin. We also learn mm-hmm. from our children. Yeah. No? From our interaction. Minsan meron kang ibang idea, tapos iba pala yung uh-huh. idea nila. So we cannot really just simply impose the things. no. Which reminds yeah. me also when I was growing up, no, parang iba talaga yung context you keep saying that no mommy Janice na iba na yung konteksto nung pinalaki tayo ng magulang natin yeah. mm-hmm. but we're, of course we're very thankful uh, to our parents no for raising us yeah. uh, and di naman tayo makakarating kung nasan tayo yung kung wala yung mga parents natin hindi ba pero mm-hmm. syempre sabi din ni Ma- Daddy Mike eh iba naman talaga kasi yung konteksto no iba naman na yung konteksto mm-hmm. natin which will bring me to my third question kasi yung social emotional development or even the understanding that all domains of development are interconnected no while we are concentrating for this topic only on the discussion on social emotional and language development di natin yan maihiwalay doon sa physical development, doon sa creative yeah. at saka aesthetic development and even moral development, yung character building no na di-discuss din natin sa mga susunod nating mga episodes. Um, pero nung pinapalaki tayo, hindi natin yan masyadong naririnig no yung social emotional development kasi parang yung context ata nun dapat magaling ka sa school lang no matalino ka yes. o no student ka yeah. o wag kayo kaya pera lagi namin sinasabi yan wag kayo masyadong grade conscious sa mga anak ninyo no um, but now it's a big thing no yung mga pinag-uusapan natin na social emotional dapat pala nagko-concentrate din tayo doon so sa inyong mga bahay how do you take care of this side of child development like what are your experiences to develop or help develop the social emotional and language development or domain of your children sige mommy Janice ready ba bang sundan tama okay. si daddy Mike naman Sure, sure. Um, for me, ever since maliit pa sila, so I have three kids. My son's 25, my other son's 23, and then 16 yung girl ko, the youngest. So ang layo from Daddy Mike, no? Parang ako talang, ang layo. <laughs> But, um, what I learned ever since I was, they were small pa is to give them talaga individual time. Hmm. Because, I don't know, ang galing talaga ni God, no? Yung iba-iba talaga sila. Like, my eldest, he's very... Uh, he he likes rules, very structured. He likes to talk about his feelings. He's very right now. He's 25. Nung bata pa siya ganon na siya. Now that he's 25, he's into self help. Like he listen to podcasts. He meditates. Ganyan. The second son ko naman very playful. So siya yung body smart. Gusto niya laging tumatakbo. Um, so and then my daughter artistic naman siya. So I try to customize. My dates with them, like when I have one-on-one time, kahit hindi formal date, kahit sit with them and then talk to them. Um, kasi since iba-iba yung personality, iba-iba rin how they communicate. So I, I, I would say nga to my mommy friends before, para tayo ano, no, multiple personality. <laughs> kasi with my eldest son, I have to be, yun, parang, parang akong teacher yung. So what did you learn today? Ganyan, ganyan. With my first, second naman, I have to be like a playmate. Oh, and I, what did you learn today? Dapat for energy. With my daughter naman, girl to girl talk. So, I don't know, maybe I can ask later Teacher X and Teacher HL also, ganun ba talaga na we have to like, um, customize our, the way we interact with them. I feel kasi po that that's our, their way of feeling connected with us. And for me, I think that no matter what they go through in life, basta they feel that they're connected with us and that, They're safe and they can trust us. 
um, actually maybe mas konting instances of mental health is the bilingual anxiety, which a lot of kids go through now. As long as they know that they have a safe place at home, that's what I try to give them through that constant one-on-one connection. Yeah. yeah. Wow, outstanding uniqueness, no? La parati natin yung sinasabi kahit man noong umpisa pa lang natin na pag-uusap dito. Don't miss the window. Sinasabi na yan natin na each child is unique. And I think Mommy Janice you're correct na we have to customize, no? Kasi iba-iba rin yung mga bata talaga. Iba-iba yung needs nila, iba-iba yung interests nila. And the spirit of fairness, no? Pag pinag-uusapan to, natutunan ko talaga to, no? Um uh, sa mahabang panahon kahit lola ko sinasabi yan sa akin na ano uh, kailangan tinitingnan mo yung mga anak mo bilang sila hindi mo sila kinukumpara yeah. sa ibang tao na meron talaga sila you have to really highlight uh, their talent no at doon ka mag-build kasi hindi naman mo pare-pareho talaga yung mga bata no and i think it's you're doing a great job by knowing your children no yung isa mas mukhang ano methodic yung isa naman mas creative mm-hmm. yung isa naman mas mas physical ang focus niya so kaya yung objective then is to really strengthen all the domains of development mm-hmm. o sige daddy mike ikaw naman paano mo naman inaalagaan or pinapaunlad yung social emotional and language development ng iyong babies ng iyong girls Well, ang ang six or seven year old pa considered pa na early stages of development. Yes, yes. Okay, sige. Kasi no mga syempre early stages wala naman siyang ibang kahalubilo kundi family. It's it's parang nakikita lang niya okay. as, as parent lang. So no nag-start siya mag kindergarten and even mag ngayon grade one na siya. Um, I always tell her when, when I take her to school to to say hi to everyone to make sure that she asks if they need help or if they're okay kasi i think yun ang kulang sa kumpara nung bata tayo we just play outside with kung sino man kids na sa labas ngayon very protective di ka pwedeng lumabas sa school ka lang bawal ka sa playground stuff like that so it's want to make sure that yung relationship niya with others and yung emotion niya and, and it's is in check so um she when she's in school make sure that she It's like she's a student. So yung think, feeling, and thinking, yung mga ganong parts, making sure na appropriate yung movements niya. So yun ang mga stuff that I try to teach her. Pero usually yung mga pabahan ko sa kanya is ask everyone, show affection if you like them, or if you want to say thank you, be grateful. Diba? Tapos to express yung sarili niyang feelings na hindi siya ma-influence na parang ayos. Yeah. Oh, do you like this just because your classmate like this? Or do you actually like this? Tapos siyempre, yung self-control, you know, seller, I know it's easy to get excited, but make sure that you're in school, listen, and stuff like that. So, may mga, usually, every every, every time that I drop her off, yung mga reminders ko niya, uh, check up on everyone, ask them if they need help, para may engage siya na parang, okay, I think, so it started asking my classmates, and now she has, like, a popular girl yata sa school. So, parang everyone's Riley, Riley, stuff like that. So, nakakatuwa. Tas, at least that way, nakaform, nakakaform, nakakaroon siya ng mga healthy relationships sa mga classmates niya, which nakikita ko na yung um, um, results. And although, again, yung grades nga, they're not, kasi yan, um, I think we're, we're surviving our Chinese class. Pero right now, nakakatuwa kasi... She, she started to pay attention in, in observance sa mga ibang classmates and even teachers. So not just a school, pero syempre kung whatever settings you're in, uh, whatever setting you're in, kung nasa museum ka man, sa playground, you act parang may tell her to act according. Di, hindi yung parang lagi siyang takbo ng takbo kung saan man venue. So, and syempre, importante sa akin is, is for her to express what she's um, feeling no? through, through words. Na parang hindi lang niya sabihin na it's difficult, it's hard, pero I ask Why is it hard? Um, tas sometimes na rinig pa siya na parang I'm so stressed pa sabi ko ala sa amin niya ata na kuwa to. <laughs> <laughs> sabi ko sa bay wala na magsasabing stress tas every time that she says na uh, I'm bored parang sabi ko ilan ang TV dito ilan ang tablet ilan ang games playstation and everything bored ka go get your book so may zoom may pagka martial law and traditional like, parenting pa pero minsan I just had to cut that out of the vocabulary nila pero yun. Masaya pa rin po ngayon na wala siyang 
wala siyang TikTok at wala siyang social media. <laughs> so that way kasi mas mas clean pa pero yun, it's, 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 I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Yung mga ibang aspects nga na na-mention, that's what I I want to make sure that she understands what she's saying and experiencing and um, she says what she feels and what she means. Oo. Yan. Uh, Daddy Mike, maraming salamat dun sa pag-share mo. Nako, sa susunod nating episode, abangan ninyo mga mamis and daddies ha, at saka mga lolos, lolas, ka, basta family members. no Alam nyo, uh, yung susunod nating episode, Teacher Lois talked about or will talk about boredom. Oh, narinig ko kasi si Ma- Daddy Mike, ano, uh, meron ba, is there something good about boredom? No? Kasi bored ka, o tama ka doon, sabi mo, oh, meron ka ng ganito, meron ka ng ganyan, o sige, mag ka naman ng gagawin, magbasa ka naman ng libro. Right? Hmm. So, is there really something good about boredom? So, panuorin niyo yung episode na yon na maganda yon, no? Uh, kasi nga, tinutulungan natin yung mga anak natin na paunlarin yung buong katauhan nila. Hindi lang sa emotional, yeah. hindi lang sa physical. Because all of those things, no, all of those domains need to be uh, improved on. They need to develop in order for us to have better, you know, uh, personalities, uh, magkaroon tayo ng mas magandang buhay para sa ating mga anak, no? But I really like the idea that both of you, no, are focusing on your children and you're really taking the time to know them one by one. Right? Mm-hmm. Ken, ako, salamat dun sa mga ano ninyo, no, sa mga sharing ninyo. Punta naman tayo kay Teacher Erickson. Teacher Erickson, ako, marami ka. Alam ko yung Uh, thesis mo na natapos mo na ay focused on social emotional no development of very young children so ang tanong ko dito again marami tayong tanong kay teacher Erickson kung may tanong kayo kay teacher Erickson ngayon pwede kayong maglagay doon sa comment section natin ha we want to have uh, an interaction also with our audience so yung una kong tanong teacher Erickson are uh, is a uh, What are the implications sa buhay ng mga bata if, for example, we fail na tutukan yung social-emotional and language development at an early stage? Meron bang ganon, Teacher Erickson? Meron bang implication yon sa kanilang uh, adulthood or sa kanilang well-being pag di natin natutukan yung social-emotional and language development at a very young stage? Thank you, Teacher Erickson. Uh... Magandang araw ulit, Mami Janice, Daddy Mike. It's very nice to hear your stories and your sharings and experiences with your children. Talagang napapakita natin yung importance ng social-emotional development and even language development. So, with Teacher Echa's question, um, sa tingin ko malaki ang magiging epekto sa mga bata kung hindi natin ito matututukan. Diba? Parang katulad nga ng paulit-ulit natin sinasabi, these Uh, domains of development are interconnected and at the same time we would like to focus on the early years bakit importante yung early years um, sa mga bata so particularly for social emotional development talaga na tutukan natin to kasi it will serve as the foundation of an individual in dealing with stress and other detrimental experiences that they will encounter in the future so um, titingnan natin ito at sabi ng Uh, developing child Harvard University Center na parang sahig, di ba? Na parang kapag ang sahig ay uneven or ang sahig ay may crack, hindi siya magiging ma- magagamit ng maayos. So kapag maglalagay tayo ng mga equipment, materials, or even our furniture doon sa sahig na yun, tapos uneven or may crack, uh, magdi rin magiging maayos yung paggamit natin ng mga furniture na yun. So ganun yung pwede natin magiging pagtingin ito sa um, importansya ng social-emotional development when it comes to early childhood, that if we will not be able to serve or provide a good foundation for the children, that will uh, create a lot of um, effects to the children's uh, future experiences. Sa tingin ko, ganun din when it comes to language development, diba? we have seen how the pandemic ap- affected us when, when it comes to lockdowns, to um, interaction, human interaction with other people. Since uh, the children are inside their ho- houses for a long time during the pandemic lockdown, nakita natin na nabawasan yung kanilang interaction with other people. Not just, um, siguro pa- kasama pa rin dun yung mga pamilya, ganyan, pero 
yung interaction nila with their peers, interaction nila with other children, in interaction nila with other people, it's very limited. So, kapag hindi natutukan, nababawasan din yung oral language, which is an important, important um, factor when it comes to language development in early years. So, yung oral language na yun, yung pakikipag-usap nila, yun yung how are they going to connect with other children, how are they going to interact with other children through their words, through their actions, um, and at the same time, how are they going to understand and listen to the different uh, words and instructions of other people being given give, being given to them. So imagine if these things, along with the other domains of development, are taken for granted in early years, medyo malaki yung kailangan pa natin gawin sa mga susunod na taon. So um, what we are aiming for is we start early. We start with um, the foundational years, which are... Uh, this years that we are talking to kasi dito natin mabibigyang importansya yung kanilang pag-unlad na makakatulong din sa kanilang hinaharap. Mm, yeah, Teacher Erickson, no? very comprehensive yung answer. So, nadagdagan na naman yung knowledge natin. Pero alam mo, Teacher Erickson, talking about no uh, the pandemic and even before the pandemic, ngayon alam na natin na, na one of the more pressing issues we face today is bullying. So, we have also seen an increase in the cases of students experiencing mental health issues. Uh, is there a connection kaya, Teacher Erickson, uh, doon sa pinatawag natin na pagtutok natin doon sa social-emotional aspect of development? Kasi it may seem na parang too far no? or masyado atang parang malayo iisipin natin. But uh, is social-emotional development of kids at an early stage connected uh, to this, to bullying and mental health issues. So suppose children's foundation in terms of social-emotional development and language development is good. Can it help improve their behavior in handling stress and facing daily challenges? Yan, sinasabi ni Daddy Mike kanina, ah, sila bata pa, na-stress na ako. So saan nga, <laughs> nanirinig yun, no? Pagka ba maganda yung... Pag, ano, when we take care of the social-emotional domain of children at a very young age, even for two years old and all, do you think they can improve their ways or, uh, you know, pa yung manner of handling stress or daily challenges? Anong masasabi mo dito, Teacher Erickson? Uh, sa tingin ko, Teacher Etchel, katulad nung sinabi ko kanina, diba, na para social-emotional development kasi caters to children's skills in connecting and relating to other people. And at the same time, knowing themselves. Important yun, yung interpersonal at interpersonal relationship skills. So, if we think about it, ito yung mga kakayahan, capacity, skills ng mga bata that are related to how are they going to uh, live their life, di ba? Parang ito yung sinasabi natin minsan na soft skills, di ba? Narinig natin yung soft skills and even life skills. So, these soft skills and life skills are very important for the children to develop their own healthy identity while at the same time managing their emotions, um, mm-hmm. identifying their ideas on how are they going to reach their goals and objectives. So, yung mga issues related to that na alam din natin na ngayon umuuspo, siguro mas napag-uusapan ngayon, um, it's present, it has been here with us, or it, is, it has been an issue in, with children for a long time. Pero mas ngayon natin siya napag-uusapan. Na maganda nga kasi... Um, ibig sabihin na bibigyan din natin ng importansya yung social-emotional development uh, ng mga bata at even the individuals, uh, us, even us uh, adults. So, um, it is connected in a way that if we are going to build these foundational skills, these life skills for the children, makakatulong ito sa kung paano nila, uh, parang nagbibigay tayo ng toolkit para sa mga bata na ito yung mga pwede mong gawin kapag na encounter mo yung mga ganitong sitwasyon. So for example, when it comes to mental health problems, diba? We mental health is an issue for everyone. It's not for those who only have the mm-hmm. disorder. Pero we have uh, we need to protect and we need to um, be healthy when it comes to our mental health. So dapat sa mga bata, ganun din yung pagtingin nila. At the same time tayo, ganun din natin tinitingnan yan para sa kanila. We develop these skills, we develop the social-emotional development, and at the same time, their um, language development. So in the long run, when the time comes that they will encounter 
such issues, they will be able to um, have certain uh, tools or certain strategies inside personally, intrapersonally, and at the same time, how they manage and interact with other people. Mm-hmm. Wow! <laughs> Oo nga naman, no? talaga, kailangan nating alagaan din yung ating emotional domain. Sige, dun sa mga gandang sinabi ni Teacher Erickson, meron ba kayong reaction, Mami Janice and Daddy Mike? Do you have reactions about what he, uh, Teacher Erickson said about taking care of the social, emotional, and language uh, aspect of development? Sige, Mami Janice, ikaw alam. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I really like the analogy of Teacher Erickson about the sahig kasi I'm a, vit- I'm a visual person so I think that will stick to me <laughs> all the time. Oh yeah, yeah, foundation. So, um, um, parang I also think kasi di ba at our, during the pandemic a lot of us maybe um, started thinking about our own um, development as children like because nga our parents were more authoritarian ganyan so um, we were not 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 like our kids they're more they're more confident about sharing their feelings ganun so um of course us we have to we find our own ways to develop that but with, now that we have that opportunity with our children um if they're able to yun nga feel safe di ba yung foundation na oh matatag yung itong tinutungtungan ko um no matter what life brings along the way uh I can handle it. So, like Teacher Erickson said, I love reading Shinerya about the tools, like the toolkit. Um, I remember my son, he, he, um, ganun din siya yung stress, madaling mas stress, my second son. So, um, he learned about the counting, yung, when he's stressed, count to 10, pause, count to 10, and then he'll feel like your whole system's relaxing, and then after that, di ka na masyadong stress. Those things, I think, even bata pa, well, siguro hindi pa mag count to 10 hanggang 5 lang, ganun. But at least yeah. yung toolkit na, oh yeah, I, daddy said or mommy said, I, I should count. Diba? Ganun. So, I like those things, teacher X, yung toolkit, tapos yung, yung sahig. The sahig will stick to my head. Thank you for that. 